An artist's life is so full of ups and downs, and the further along in the journey you get, the more you realize there will always be hills, there will always be valleys, there will be mountains that you have to climb, and then you, you get up there and it's really great. I've been at it long enough now that I don't get worried or scared in those valleys anymore. Cheryl Fogel's body of work spans more than 30 years and includes plays, films, books, articles, and multimedia presentations that share Alberta's stories with the world. I feel really supported now to tell the stories I want to tell in a way that I didn't as a younger writer. And I would say I'm, I'm on on a hill, you know, at a wonderful place in my journey. Her seminal autobiographical book, Pouring Down Rain, is a powerful narrative of Fogo's ancestors' journey from enslavement in the United States to Western Canada. My family, in some ways, was the inspiration for me to become a writer. I wanted to tell their stories. I wanted to tell our stories. I didn't see them represented anywhere. And when I say my family, I'm also talking about my community within a community. I grew up in Calgary, but I also grew up in the embrace of a black community here that were all either first generation of the black migration of 1910 or second generation. So many of those people felt like family to me or were literally family. I grew up in the embrace of that movement. And so my family is so deeply embedded in my work and my inspiration. I work with my husband, Clem Martini, a lot, and I work with my daughter, Miranda, who is a singer-songwriter. So my family is in there. Heaven, The Devil We Know, Turn Around, and other plays written and co-written by Cheryl Fogo have been seen across the country. These works showcase an outstanding ability to generate thoughtful, moving material, demonstrating a writer at the apex of her craft. I would say my artistic journey began when I was quite young, through my love of literature. As a child, I was so hungry to try to find myself in fiction and I, there was nothing available for me. So I loved writing the book that I would have wanted to read when I was 12. Her 2020 film, John Ware Reclaimed, is a major triumph. It highlights the resiliency of the human spirit as it offers a fresh understanding of the life of the esteemed figure, John Ware. My works about John Ware are some of my favorites because he was such an important figure in my life. Having grown up in Calgary and loving cowboys and horses, he became quite central to my identity. Sometimes I write about characters that I wish I had been more like. So the character of Roxanne in One Thing That's True is not me as I was. She's kind of like me as I wished I had been, more willing to stand up for other people, more willing to stand up for herself. So it's both fun and a trial to revisit past versions of myself or even present versions of myself in my work. My name is Cheryl Fogo. I'm an author, playwright, filmmaker, historian. Essentially, I think of myself as a storyteller. Cheryl Fogo, 2021 Lieutenant Governor of Alberta, distinguished artist.